quick introduction and demonstration of the market replay functionality in Inside Edge Trader. Usually you're working off a live market data feed from your brokerage account or a data service to either trade your live account or to paper trade with. Sometimes you need something to work with during off hours, weekends, and or to maybe practice when you're building strategies. Market replay is what you can do. So markets closed on some of my regular trading I'm gonna go and open a new trade interface to pull up replay data so I'm going to trading new doesn't matter I can use a trade chart or a trade window to do this I'll use a trade window in this case it's blank so I'm gonna to go to trading and profiles and I'm gonna set up a new market replay scenario so new replay this is just a label so you can do whatever you want here under price feed I need to select replay and I can only sim trade replay data so that's fine I'm gonna hit log on pick out the symbol for the market I want and now it's something unique to replay I have this expiration called pound F it's a continuous contract if I click the drop down I see a listing depending on what market I choose of all the different expirations that we have recorded in our historical data. So I can choose a particular one, or most of the time, pound F is fine. Hit select, and I'll get the secondary window, a sim data control. This is where I can use a VCR style control to pull up the data I want to see and then play it back. My basic limitation is I have to do a day in the past. I have to do a prior day rather than a current day. So I'll pick out a day from earlier this week. I'll pick out Monday. These are Eastern times, so I'm going to dial it in to the ES open. You can use your keyboard or the arrows, pick out a criteria and adjust it. On the end time, I can dial it into a specific time or just leave it. It'll queue up today's date and time by default. Once I've picked out my start time, I'm going to click load. The value that matters beforehand, this P-E-R-L stands for preload, and it's talking about if I'm using charting and I have indicators, they need a certain amount of data behind them to populate. So I'm going to queue up the data to my start point. If I'm worried about more charting data, I might increase this value. But for right now, I'm just going to click load. It'll say downloading data. It'll take a moment while it pulls in the chunk of data that I've requested. So I'll wait for that. Once it's queued up my data, it's ready to play. It doesn't go off automatically. I have to, now that it's queued up, start it. I'm gonna spawn a chart here too, just so we can see it working there as well. So I've got this chart that's queued up to my start point. It's got it right at 9.30 on the date that I requested. And I do have some history that my preload I talked about has a couple hours of data in here for me already so that any studies will populate. If I needed more data, I could increase this preload first. It's set up to play back at regular speed now. So step is like pause, play. We'll start back the play. And now I've got a data feed that I can use to sim trade or whatnot. It's just the last traded price with the bid in the ask. I don't see market depth information on a dome and replay. But I can otherwise use it at this point pick out a sim account and put in a lot size if I wanted to start trading and I can use it to practice like I said the step button is like a pause if I click step once it'll just stop the playback if I push play again it'll resume this forward button FWD will increase the speed for each time I click it I'll see this value down here for speed increase and it'll just incrementally ratchet up the playback speed so now I've got it going faster than real time if I want to slow it back down I can just click on step to pause it put this back down to one and resume playing it at regular speed if I click on back to you it stands for back test it's gonna play it at the absolute maximum speed that your machine can handle I'm not gonna do that right now it can be a resource hog usually you'll just play it at regular speed or occasionally ratchet up the speed a little with the forward button if you want to. I'm going to click step deposit, bring it back 
to one and play it again here and these up down buttons are a way that you can actually manipulate the market so right now I'm just playing back based upon the actual recorded data from that day and if I wanted to I could manipulate it so if I start clicking on up each time that I click it it's going to move the market up a tick so obviously I've manipulated the data at this point it results in, in pausing the, the regular playback if I hit play again it'll jump back to where the action actually was and keep going but if I want to I can force the action with these buttons the reason we have that primarily is it can be a helpful tool if you're doing things with order strategies and so forth so like say if I set up a stop loss and order bracket ahead of taking a position and it's got this OCO one cancels the other so if I enter a position it's bracketed with these two orders but I want to test out the fact that I've got this OCO if one gets filled the other is supposed to cancel so I'm gonna force the market up instead of waiting for the action to fill my target and see that it does in fact cancel my stop so that's why you might use this functionality to manipulate the market if I applied other items like a trailing stop onto my strategy I could test that functionality manipulating the market as well so this is true for this is the simple bracketing I could use it practicing with order strategies too but that's a basic demo of the market replay functionality how to queue up a piece of data and play it back and then use it for whatever you'd like to trade it for practicing uh, or to potentially use it to practice your strategies to make sure that they work the way you want without having to actually wait for a live market to meet your conditions.